Welcome back to New Day. So many Seattle sports fans were captivated by the Mariners postseason run and today we're joined by someone who had a front seat to it all. Please welcome sports photographer Liv Lyons. Not only do you have a front seat, but you said sometimes those, those balls got a little too close. Oh yeah, we had a couple come in the well a couple times and someone only got hit once. He was fine, but it's it's fun. That is not something that I think people recognize when we're talking to sports photographers is that you really literally can be hit by the action. Yeah, you're shooting with both eyes open. Woo! Yeah. So you've been a photographer for about 10 years. This was your first season come covering the Mariners. What a great season to start with, A. But how did the opportunity come up? Yeah, um, I've been freelancing with Converge Media for almost a year now. Mm -hmm. And um, I'm shooting in studio with Omari Salisbury one day. We just wrapped up with a couple clients and I'm editing the photos and he turned around and said, hey, I just got an email, we might have an opportunity to oh, wow. photograph the Mariners uh, season this year. Are you down? And I just reverted to my four-year-old self. I'm like, yes, I absolutely <laughs> am. <laughs> All right, we're going to look at some of the favorite shots of the season for you. I heard you've been, because you said you reverted to your four-year-old self. You've been a fan of the M's for a long, long time, right? Yes, yep, since birth. This is a great shot. Love this. What are we oh, looking at you. here? Oh, my gosh. This is... An it's, I gotta say, what is it like covering the team? I mean, you've been a fan for a long time, but now you're in it. You're almost kind of part of the team in this sense. It's it's wild, and I really have to learn to turn off the part of my brain that is the fan that's really sitting there and that's, that's <sighs> wanting to chant, let's go Mariners, <laughs> and, and eat all the, the garlic fries. But it's it's a wild experience, and, and I'm just absolutely thankful to be there and to just take a deep breath, focus in, and get the work done. Take us back to May when you first started photographing the team. There, are, you you understand how the game works, which is yeah. a, a lot for mo most people to understand as we learned all the different roles and things. But the ins and outs of actually being a photographer for the game, how did you learn those? Who kind of gave you, taught you the ropes? Yeah, absolutely. Um, Omari got me connected to someone who had actually been studying since college. His name was Ted S. Warren, and he worked for Associated Press at the time. Wow. And so Ted took me through from the press box all the way to the field and walked me through the typical process, what you do, where you put your gear, how to get into the photo wells, where not to step like the grass, and um, just all of the ins and outs from first pitch towards end of the game. And there's room for customization there depending on your outlet mm -hmm. but it was thanks to Ted that I, I had all the tools I needed to be as successful as possible. Well hats off to Amari and to Ted because I gotta say I mean it's it is those little things. Yeah, it really is. The li like where do I put my gear? Yep. yep. It really can it really makes a what difference. What seat do I sit in? Yeah. <laughs> See? Right. <laughs> Where's the bathroom even? I mean my goodness. <laughs> it's all these little things that when you're a journalist out there they can be a barrier so I'm yeah. so glad. W was there a favorite moment you have to the season? I, that was a, that's a really good question. So I think for me, thinking all the way from May until now, there there were a lot of really great moments personally and in the game itself. Mm -hmm. But it really does come down to the end of the game um, for the uh, ALDS mm -hmm. game three here mm -hmm. at home. Game's over. Uh, we went 18 long innings, and you've got Houston celebrating out there on the mound, and you've got every fan that stuck around in the stands, which was most of them, and they're still chanting, let's go Mariners, and doing Stop the clap. It. And it just Even after chills. they won? After they won, you the Mariners the were gone. Right now. <laughs> just oh. those fans still chanting that. And whether they'd been fans since they heard we were breaking the drought or since, you know, long before I was a fan when I was born, that, that commitment and that dedication to it's over, but we're still here and we're hungry for more, that, that was my that favorite moment. It's a beautiful moment. Thank you. I had no idea yeah. about that. Thank you. I'm like, you got me on the verge of tears here. <laughs> I'm on the verge of tears. Because it is a beautiful thing. Yeah. And I'm so proud of our community and our sports community for yeah. that. How do you, like you said, take away, you, you got to stop the fan inside you and mm -hmm. put the journalist in charge. How do you stay calm and focused? Yeah, for me, it's it's all breathing. Mm -hmm. I just say, like I did before I got in the seat, just taking a nice deep <laughs> breath and all the kind of sound falls away, put my eye up to the viewfinder, focus in literally and mentally and just start firing away and trying to remember to keep that other eye open because you, you know. don't want to get hit <laughs> yeah. with the ball, exactly. with a line drive. Uh, I know that much about sports. Um, so you don't see a ton of women working in sports photography, like you said, in the photo well there and even fewer black women in this field. Why is it so important to have diversity behind that lens? Yeah. Diversity behind the lens means more perspectives. And as you know, in journalism, that can be crucial. Yep. Through history, um, baseball coverage has existed in somewhat of a vacuum. Mm -hmm. And um, 
generally has been told through the lens of one experience. And folks deserve to appreciate and experience photography from all gazes. Mm. I'm just really proud to be here doing the work and doing what I can to widen that lens. So how can the industry do a better job of opening that door? That's a great question. I, I think what it might start with is identifying who's not at the table, what perspectives, okay. what visions aren't being represented there, mm -hmm. and invite them in. You know, yeah. make access a priority um, for the folks who are in power to make those decisions. Just try your best to be a little bit more equitable with access. The talent is there. Yeah. The vision's not being accounted for. It just you got to reach out. Well, season is over, but what is next for you? It's a great question. Well, a Death Cab for Cutie concert tonight, apparently. So I've got, I've got my photo pass for that. So I'm, I'm oh, jumping cool. back into the photo lane uh, for, for music photography for a moment. But we're working with the Mariners to hopefully get uh, get on, get some access for spring training mm -hmm. and hopefully the 2023 season because I think I found a cadence here and I'm, I'm really happy to be here. I'm so, so excited that, that, that you found this. I, I'm so excited to talk to you. Thank you thank for you. sharing that moment that made us almost cry. Yeah. <laughs> and thank you for sharing your voice. Absolutely. And your perspective. It's been a pleasure talking to you. Liz. Thanks for having we'll me. We'll have you again, please. Sounds good. All right, awesome. <laughs>